Hey guys, and um, what do we have today? Oh, we have another haul. I am literally so excited to film this. I feel like I've been wanting to film this haul for ages, but they just take me so long because I've got to like think through the outfits and I'm trying everything on, but I do just love it. So I'm gonna call this like a summer try on haul, but like Lord knows it's not looking like summer at all in the UK. Like right now as I'm filming this, it's literally cloudy and cold, so summer i mean it's actually like the first week of june and the sun is nowhere to be seen but i'm really excited to show you guys all the things i've been buying um i feel like i've been buying so much this isn't even all the stuff i've bought because i just thought it was a bit much showing everything and some things are like in the wash and some things i need to be like taken up or whatever so i'm not showing all of that but yeah again i just love watching these videos and i love filming them because i love clothes and fashion and putting outfits together so yeah i'm just gonna get started and show you guys what i got again oh i bought two pairs of shoes why there was no need for that first of all i bought another pair of ballet pumps because i wanted a pair of matte black ones like the ones my mum gave me are like patent and i just wanted some that were like matte black they are kind of dirty because i wore them to the beach that was a stupid idea literally jumped onto the stones and he twisted my ankle dumb bitch but i love these ballet flats i literally wear them all the time they're from mns and they were like 15 pounds like mns have literally the best shoes like if you're looking for like good basic shoes go to mns because they have such good shoes and then i also bought these shoes off vinted these little like mary janes with the black straps because i have some shoes similar to this but they have a bigger heel and also they only have one strap and i saw these and i thought these were cute like better for every day um and they're just a black shoe with like a little heel and two straps they're originally from primark but i got them off vintage because i hate primark i do not like shopping in there and also i wanted to get them second hand um and these are the best ones that i found i think they're only like 20 pounds which is pretty good um yeah they're super cute with like dresses and skirts and stuff those are two shoes i bought some accessories we'll go to next i've really been loving like bangles like chunky bracelets i'm still in the search for more like i want some more good silver ones um every time i go to the charity shops i look because i feel like the charity shops always have good like vintage jewelry and all of these ones i got from the charity shop so i just got this set of like silver bangles which i love i wear them all the time and then i also got these two like like wrist cuffs like silver wrist cuffs you just wear them like that but I also like the fact you can wear them like over t-shirts to like kind of cinch in the wrist. I think it looks really pretty and I feel like these are really cute for the summertime. And um, also like to go to the beach, I feel like they'd be cute like if you wanted to like look cute at the beach. Um, not that I'm going anywhere this summer that's like beachy. I'm, in fact, I'm not going anywhere. So maybe like Shoreham Beach, like West Witterings. Um, but no, I just love these. I think they're so cool. And I also got these from a charity shop. So. If you're in charity shops, check out their like jewellery section. They normally have like really good vintage chunky jewellery. Another accessory I got was this cap. I wanted like a, would you say this is camo? Like real print camo? I don't know what like the actual term of this print is. But I really wanted a cap in this colour for a really long time. And I wanted more caps for the summer. Um, I just like them as an accessory. Um, I'm always get a bit scared to wear a cap though. I don't know why. I feel like people like are looking at me when I wear a hat, which is just so weird because like it's just an accessory. This specific cap, Lowe's, says God's favourite. It's from the brand Praying. They have so many cool things, like so many cool things. And I was trying to find it secondhand, couldn't find it anywhere secondhand, so I just bought it off the website. And it was a little bit more pricey. But I do really like it and I'm excited to wear it in the summer. I honestly think this with my white ganny dress and brown like boots would be so cool. Like that's that's the outfit I have envisioned. And then also like a white beater and like jorts and like Doc Martens. That as well is the vision I have. I went to London a couple weekends ago with my family and I went to Brandy Melville. No, Brandy Melville's a bit controversial but I just am a sucker for their clothes. I just think they have the best basics and they have such good pyjama shorts. That's my favourite thing of Brandy Melville. So I got three pairs of their pyjama shorts. I got these ones with the skulls on, which I think are so cute. I also got this little vest because I have one similar, but I wear it as like a bed. Like most of the stuff I have from Brandy Melville, I honestly wear it to bed because it's just comfy and like cute. Um, but the vest, white vest I have from Brandy Melville is like really big and like my boobs fall out of it. Me acting like I have big boobs, no. But I think because I've just worn it loads, it's like starting to like sag a bit. So I got this white vest, which is a bit more like fitted and tight. 
and I actually think this with jorts and this cap would be very cute with like a white shoelace belt that's the vision I have um, and I just feel like you could never go wrong with a little white um, like basic crop top I think I only have like white wife beater style tops no like strappy tops like this so that's always a good thing to have for the summer and then I got this which is, I think is my favourite thing I got from Brandy Melville like I love stripes and I loved this top like the way it fits is so flattering and it's long sleeves it's not super cropped like it comes down pretty far and when I was in Cornwall with Sophie I wore this with my long black velvet skirt and docks and it looks so cool um and yeah just super soft I just think their clothes are just really soft and nice the actual shop experience is terrible like Honestly, buy your Brandy Melville shit from like Vinted and stuff unless you want like the new in, which is normally what I do. I normally buy it off Vinted and Depop because I try not to go into actual shops and buy clothes, but obviously I'm not perfect. But I do for the most part try and shop sustainably if I can. But again, I don't always like, I try and balance it out a little bit. But I think as long as you're like somewhat shopping sustainably, it's better than shopping all from fast fashion brand. I do also think they have really good stuff on Vinted if you search Brandy Melville and it's really cheap. A couple things from Uniqlo. Uniqlo is my favourite place for basics like Brandy Melville and Uniqlo best basics but Uniqlo especially like they have the comfiest t-shirts like my favourite white t-shirt and black t-shirt from Uniqlo and that sounds so stupid but like I feel like having a good white t-shirt like some places have awful white t-shirts they don't fit right they're really see-through they're too thick they're too thin the Uniqlo Airism white t-shirt is my favourite t-shirt ever. It just fits so good and it's so comfy. So I got two little like baby tees from Uniqlo. Um, one in white, which is perfect. Like I don't have I didn't have a white baby tee. My one that I do have is like kind of cream. Um, and I just love I just love a basic t-shirt. I think I want to have good basics and this is literally perfect and again it's not too cropped like it comes up to the perfect place it's just perfect with a pair of jeans pair of docks um and it's super soft and comfy and it's not too see-through i mean i would probably wear a bra under it if i was like going to work but if i was just going out i would just have my nipples out like i don't care but when i'm at work i feel like a bra would be more appropriate <laughs> and then i got the same um one in gray because again i've really been loving gray at the moment I didn't have any like little grey t-shirts and this was perfect and again super soft super comfy just your perfect little basic and I went into TK Maxx the other week honestly TK Maxx is underrated because I always go in there just to buy candles because they have my favourite candles from the Sand and Fog brand best candles ever like genuinely make your room smell incredible but I never look at the clothes because it always feels about overwhelming like there's so many racks and you're just like where the fuck do I start but I feel like when I do look they always do have good stuff so I got this skirt in the sale and it is so nice I'm really conscious when I lift my arms up that you can see my armpit hair so just like try and ignore that um but yeah this denim skirt it's like a long maxi denim skirt I've been looking for one like this for ages and it fits so nice it has a little zip I love the waistband it sits like on your hips as well which I really like and um, sometimes I want a skirt that sits more on my hips and sometimes I want one that's like more low slung and low waisted but this one is so nice on the hips and it was only £18 reduced from 30 I was like yep yeah, you're coming home with me and it's from the brand um La Fair if anyone's interested I'm, I've literally been looking for a skirt like this for so long like Vinted Depop couldn't find anything TK Maxx got me, TK Maxx got me, um, I'm really excited to wear this, I actually haven't worn it yet, um, but I love it. Speaking of Brandy Melville or Vinted, my absolute favourite piece of clothing are the Brandy Melville button up cardigans. I wear them all the time, I have the black and the white, both, I think I got the white one in store, but the black one I got off Vinted. I wear them so much, like they are so perfect, the perfect like little layer, um, and I needed the grey because black, white, grey, perfect colours just to go with everything so I got the little grey button up cardigan and this was like fiver off Vinted because I looked when I went in the store and they didn't have it but I found it and oh, these are just so perfect like this with the denim skirt oh bitch that's so cute that is so cute and over dresses and stuff for the summer 
I just love, I just love a cardigan. I'm turning into my mum. She would always be like, cardigans are the best. And I was like, girl, ugly. No, I actually am with her. Like little cardigans are so cute and they are the best because they just go with everything. Next, I got these trousers from Monkey. I've been looking for some grey like suit trousers for so long, like ones that actually fit me properly because I've tried on loads in like vintage stores, charity shops, bitch, they don't fit me. I went into the vintage store by my work the other day, tried on four pairs of jeans, none of them fit. So that's good. So in those situations, I'm like, okay, I need to like go into a store and like, try them on and like buy it from an actual shop because secondhand jeans and trousers are very hit and miss and I don't want to like order something of vintage and it come and not fit and then I have to sell it like that's just so much effort so I tried these on a monkey and they fit so good they're just like grey suit trousers like super baggy which I love I might actually get my mum to like sew them so they are like folded or I might just cut them and so they have a frayed hem I'm not really sure what I want to do with them yet I have a bit of a vision of them having a cut hem and then having white socks and docks and like a little black top. I think that would be really cute. But I love these. I think they're so nice. And they're actually flattering. They actually like show that I have a bum. Because the majority of the clothes I wear make it look like I've got a flat ass and no body. And like sometimes I want to show that like, yeah, I do have a bum. And these trousers really do that. Like I look a little bit cheeked up in them. So... <laughs> Yeah, and also I really like these kind of trousers to wear skirts over like I've got a long grey skirt and I think wearing that layered over would also be really cute. This is the favourite thing I bought all month. This has been on my wish list for like months. Like I have like a wish list on my phone of like when I get paid like things that I want to buy. And this has been on my wish list for months and it finally came back in stock and I finally could like afford it. Because it would always come back in stock at like the end of the month when I had no money. And I was like, guys, like please like restock it when I have money. And they did. They fucking did. And it is the Peachy Den Deb Deba skirt? Deba skirt? Deba skirt. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and I am so obsessed with this skirt. I have been wearing it non-stop. It is so worth the money. I am literally so obsessed with it. Also, Peachy Den, I really want to work for you. Every time I post myself wearing like an item of clothing from them, I'm manifesting one day that I can work for their brand because they're my dream brand to work for. I just love their clothes so much. And this skirt, bitch, it is so cute. Like it fits so good. It makes me feel like a little princess. And the outfit that I wore with this, like the way I styled this, which I think I'm gonna show in this video, is me in this little blue knee-high t-shirt and like ballet pants. Bitch, I'm obsessed. So cute and it fits so good. It's so comfy. You can wear it in so many different ways. That's how I justify buying something that's expensive. How many ways can I style it in? How versatile is it? And also it's like black, so it goes with everything. And yeah, this is definitely my favorite thing I've bought. I really like the way it comes in at the front, it makes your hips like, makes it look like you've got hips and then at the back as well it kind of comes down. I think that's just so flattering and I love it, I love it. I have to like try not to wear it every day because I'm like I've got so many other clothes but I also just love the skirt so I do be wearing it a lot. Okay the last two things I'm going to show are things I bought in Cornwall at, Oh, there's a spider, Oh, okay, no, oh my god. Fuck off. Okay, sorry about that. There was a fucking spider that fell out of the trousers. Um, these last two things are things I bought in Cornwall at this vintage superstore. Me and Sophie drove past it on the way into Cornwall. And then on our last day there, we were like, hmm, what should we do this afternoon? And then we were like, should we drive to the vintage superstore? We did, and it was incredible. Highly recommend if you're in Cornwall to go there. Um, wow it was huge and everything was so reasonably priced as well I was like what the fuck like we do not get the shit like this back in West Sussex like they be charging well for the pair of dickies I'm going to show you they'll probably be charging like 40 50 quid for a pair of like vintage ripped dickies not in Cornwall you get the good fucking deals in Cornwall but first of all I bought this turtleneck jumper again I know it's summer but is it is it really? Also, this is just such a good basic. It's just a navy turtleneck. The sleeves are super long. I love the little roll neck. This is actually like 10 pounds and it's such good quality. And I really envision this with my long navy pleated skirt and loafers and like pigtails or like a low bun or something. 
I think that would be so cute. Like navy on navy, I love. And yeah, sorry if you can hear my mum hoovering. I got that and then I also got two pairs of Dickies but one of the pairs I got didn't fit so I'm gonna put those on my vintage. But this is a pair that did fit and they were like £10, this navy pair of Dickies. Honestly, lots of the pairs of trousers in there were like very damaged. This was probably the best pair that I could find that actually would fit me. Um, but I love them. And they also have a rip. Hang on, I'm going to take them off the hanger. They also have a little rip in the knee. And I just love them. Again, I might just cut them like so they have a frayed hem at the bottom. I'm not too sure yet. I haven't actually tried them on or styled them. But I think I would wear these with like, again, docks and like a white wife beater or like a grey t-shirt maybe like a little brown belt that kind of thing um but yeah I love trousers like this and I really want to get a pair of black ones like exactly like this but I need to find a pair that fucking fit me because oh my god do I feel like a fucking whale when I go and try jeans on and they don't even go above my thighs like what do you mean like it's so annoying because like I have like a smaller waist but then my bum and my thighs are bigger but then I want jeans to be baggy, like I don't want to see my legs through the jeans, like I'm not, I don't want to wear skinny jeans, do you know what I mean? I want basically to look like I have no legs underneath the baggy jeans. So hard to find jeans like that. I think I have found a pair on Jaded London and like I really don't want to buy them because I don't want to support Jaded London, but their jeans just look really good and they look promising. Well the pair of jeans I really want, sorry this is a ramble now, the pair of jeans I really want are basically the Calvin Klein jeans I have in black, which I've tried to order twice and they both didn't fit me, even though I bought the exact same size. So what's that all about? So I'm gonna, I'm on the hunt to find those jeans in black because they are my favorite, favorite pair of jeans ever. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is the end of my haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'm really aware of like how wonky my camera looks, like this whole video. And like if you saw my setup, you would understand why. It's because I literally have my camera balanced on my bed. Um, because this is how I get the best lighting. <laughs> Especially at the moment when it's so fucking dark and grey. Um, so sorry if it's looked a bit wonky. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I do lots of like outfit videos on TikTok. Um, of like what I'm wearing day to day and yeah I will be doing a, what I wear in a week soon I do lots of vlogs so make sure to check those out I also have a podcast with my best friend um, which I post episodes on here and also on Spotify so that's linked below as well and I will see you guys next time with another new video bye